This is a demo on how to create the whole of the soul limbo piece in C major in GarageBand. So when you get into GarageBand and have the musical typing keyboard on, you can turn that on by pressing Command K or closing it, Command K. We're just gonna stay on the default electric piano sound to get in the four key parts, okay? So to build it up and, and to make it a bit easier, we're gonna start with the bass line, the simple bass line, then we're gonna add in the chords, then the percussion drum part, and then the melody at the end. So we need to keep the metronome on up here, which corresponds to these lines here. That's 120 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. So this is the octave here, C2. We can go up and down the octaves by pressing these buttons here. So we're just going to record that in to start with. I'm going to press the return key on the keyboard to bring back this track to the beginning of the project and then press the record button. That's all we're going to do to start with, just four bars. I'm going to close that so that we can see a bit more of a clear visual. You can see I've played slightly early on these notes here. So I'm going to press Command A to select all and quantize. Watch the notes move. They've moved slightly and they've realigned. They've aligned with the, with the nearest key, key beat there on the start of each bar. We can then press return on the keyboard and press play with a space bar. Okay, sounds in time. We're going to now add in a new instrument. Software instrument, press create. We now need to bring that octave up. Okay, so now we're going to record in the chord part. Okay, move that out of the way. Double click on the recording and the piano roll grid comes up. You can see again some of my notes are slightly out of time. So I'm going to press Command A to select all and I'm going to go for a 16th. We can now listen back. We can also put this loop on here by dragging that. We can turn that on or off by pressing this. Okay, so that's in time. We're now going to try and add in a drum beat to make it a bit more catchy. So I'm going to press select here and go up here. We've got drum kit or we've got electronic drum kit. I've just reinstalled GarageBand so you can see a lot of my instruments are not downloaded. If I press this small arrow here, I can download these. I'm just going to stick with the SoCal default, default drums for the moment. And to get the three key parts of the drum that we need, we need to drop down the octave to C1. That's the kick, that's the snare, and that's the hi-hat. Now you don't need to play them all at the same time, we can program, program them in. There's lots of different ways to do it. You could practice just playing all three on your QWERTY keyboard. You don't need to do that though, you could just build it up bit by bit. So I'm going to take off the loop, press return again to start, go back to the beginning. And I'm going to program it in instead of playing it live. So I'm just going to record the kick like this, and then I'm going to show you how to program in the notes, okay? the kick drum double click on the recording again quantize every time let's put this loop back on now
I'm going to double that so that it's happening every beat one and three. So to do that, I'm holding down Option or Alt on the older keyboards to then copy those notes. Okay, so I've selected them, I've held down Option and I've dragged. I'm going to put the snares on every other beat. Okay, so I'm going to hold down Option and I'm going to drag this up to the E there. I can then select those, I can drag. Okay, and then I'm going to do the hi-hat by again holding down option and dragging that note up to the F sharp, which on your QWERTY keyboard is the T. I'm then going to hold down option again and copy them a few times. Select all of those, hold down option, drag. Okay, it's sounding in time, it's making musical sense. Now, as we develop our piece, we can change up these drums because after a while they might start to be quite boring and it's quite a, it's quite a traditional, um, even drum beat. So we might want some more variation in there. So the next part is the melody. Now that part is a bit more difficult because to play the melody, the QWERTY keyboard um, does not reach the notes that we all need, that we need for this, okay? So again, let's take this up the octave. The next bit goes too high, so I'm going to do that in the next section and go. Something like that. So we're going to bring it up the octave there to, so that we can fit in those notes, okay? So to do this, we need to copy what we've done a few times so that we've got our accompanying parts. So I'm holding down Option again, dragging. We're just going to do that for that number of bars to start with and we can practice playing this because it's a bit more of a fast part by just keeping down this looped section and practicing it one more time a bit longer in case we want it to extend and I'm going to try and record this in now and as I say I'm going to do it in a couple of sections because we can't fit that melody in this QWERTY keyboard here we go from the top hold down and press return to go back to the start and then press record Okay, the next section goes higher, so I'm going to press this and I'm going to... I'm going to play that bit there, okay. Okay, right, so now we need to go back and try and edit these parts. So I'm going to double click on this, select all by pressing Command A and press 16th. So now we can listen back to it and hear if there's any mistakes 
rhythmic or pitch issues that we need to change. See there's a mistake there, we're going to delete that. Let's listen to this next section. And that bit sounded early, so we're going to move that. Okay, that's all in time. So we've got the first section of our piece done now. Now, as you can see, we've just used the default sound. It's a bit boring. So to make our piece a bit more interesting, I'm going to now click on each track and change up the instruments. We're going to go for a finger style bass here, how, see how that sounds. Too low. So I'm going to select all. Double click. Command A. Bring it bring it up to one octave up. For the chords here, I'm going to go for a piano sound. For this part here, I'm going to try an organ. I think we could take it up an octave. So I'm going to press Command A. And it's a bit late there. Okay. The last thing is I think is a bit slow now. We've recorded at a steady tempo to get the parts in time. I'm going to increase that to 135. Let's have a listen to that. It's sounding a bit more catchy at that speed. We could then now add in the more developed bass line. Command K to get this up. We could also add in some more percussion picking out that rhythm. time we might want to think about some more hand percussion a tambourine sound maybe a cowbell to pick that rhythm out and then we can then develop the melody in the next section to create some more variation <laughs> 